any chance I can have try one of your apple spice teas? Whoa. Whoa. Oh. I feel like we've been here before. Have we? Like so sitting down with a cup of tea really about to do an LVF. Yeah, so true. Apple spice. It's I absolute know. chaos here. Oh, that's so Are we ready? Come I don't see why I like either. Oh my god. I'm burning actually. I should have got a glass. Why did why you put a glass? glass? This is LVS Creations. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. It's been a long time because um, high dissertation, but I'm very excited to be back here today. And today I'm here with my housemates. And if you haven't noticed, we're all wearing the same thing. <laughs> that is horrible. Yeah, please. But I'm also really excited because I've realised this is the first video that I'm doing since I've had the big snip. That sounds like I've had a um, vasectomy. I haven't had a vasectomy, but I have had my fringe cut. So I'm gonna quickly introduce everybody. We have Amari, Immy, and Jess. So you've probably seen Jess in two videos and uh, Immy was also with Jess on our last cup of tea and chat. Um, but Amari's new here, so it's very exciting. And today we're going to be chatting about our favourites whilst drinking our favourite tea. So we have, I don't know how many categories we have, but we have, is it seven or eight categories? Categories? Oh, did you just bring random things? I just brought random things from upstairs. Okay, so category one, everybody, is... I literally just brought my eats down. Okay, so the first category is songs slash podcasts. Well, I wrote mine down so I go straight <laughs> up. <laughs> My favourite song slash podcast is um, Maverick City's new album, which. <laughs> Are you being rude? Are you being rude? Did you say No! It? I said she's such a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> so my favourite album is Maverick City's new album, You Hold It All Together. Yes. So good. Mm. Um, and my favourite podcast is The High Low, which is such a good podcast and they look at like high brow culture, low brow culture, they talk about it. It's quite... Do they talk about eye brow culture? <laughs> it's quite low key, quite chilled. Do you want something nice to listen to, to lighten up your rainy day? Check it out. Lovely. Those are, those are good suggestions. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I haven't listened to either, but I, I know was, that they yeah. will be good. So my favourite song at the moment is Minefield by John Legend and Fawzia. I don't know, but she's so good. And she also does like Tears of Gold, but it's a really good song and I really like her voice. I think she's famous on TikTok. And my favourite podcast at the moment, this is so, okay, so I love watching Trash TV. And one of the Real Housewives of Orange County um, <laughs> women have got a podcast. So I, I listen to Heather Debro because she's really fancy, super rich, plastic surgeon husband, and just has far too much money. But it's a really good podcast if you want to like pretend that you are you live in Newport Beach in Orange County, basically. So I didn't know we had categories. <laughs> As of today, <laughs> my favourite music is um, music, song album um amanda but what's her what's she going under falcon, falcon. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and the album's called something like nova is it nova nova yeah. and it's just really good yeah. i've been having it on repeat all day every song is a favorite and i just think it's me and amari were bang going over, over earlier mm. and i really enjoy it so that's my favorite yes. music so i go through phases of listening to podcasts um but right now i'm not in their podcast Days. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah. So yeah, but the one I always go to as a key recommendation is what's the Jonathan from Queer Eye? He know. has a podcast series called something I can't even remember. Now. They're so, always very interesting. So that's like my go-to recommendation for podcast. But that's me. A man doing Jonathan. Music. I'm gonna share with Amy because I didn't think of one. Podcast. I was listening to one the other day about enneagrams because mm. I'm an enneagram oh, four. If you don't know what enneagrams are, they're like personality tests. Um, and I'm a four, and this one was talking about embracing your weird and how everyone has weird to embrace. I'll send it to you. Yeah, can I? I'll yeah, send it to you. Yeah. Should we just have a listening party? Yeah. Would that be easier? Down below. So, our next category.
category is our favourite clothing at the moment. So, do you want to go for that? <laughs> oh, so I love Depop at the moment. Mm. And um, I have been buying quite a few new items. Revamping the one's wardrobe, some would say. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you become <laughs> part of the Georgian atmosphere? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been buying some clothes off Depop and got a really cute pinafore, but it's in the wash because I fell down and muddy it. <laughs> Depop's really good if you like are into sustainability and yeah. having getting like secondhand clothes because obviously charity shops are closed at the moment um in the uk because we're currently in the middle of a four week lockdown barter on depop that's all i'm gonna say oh mm. yes. yeah so, don't be afraid to walk away because they will come back to you yes yeah. yeah. then the top tip have in your head how much you're actually willing to pay for it and yeah and, and be happy to walk away my favorite clothing gonna come as no surprise is uh, are these wonderful pajamas that we bought they are mm. actually so comfy yeah and like at the moment not gonna lie I'm getting very bloated um I think it might be lack of exercise because lockdown so these great give me some nice wiggle room mm -hmm. and they're from ASOS they are from ASOS. Recycled plastic. Recycled plastic. And the best part of all is they've mostly sold out now. Really? Oh, yeah. From all sizes, small, there's still a few. Oh, so my favourite piece of clothing, I've decided, is access to everyone's wardrobe at the moment. <laughs> I'm <laughs> really enjoying mm. having, um, yeah, it's great. Oh, Amari, do you have a blue jumper? Yes, I do. And then perfect. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's just... I haven't given it back since. <laughs> <laughs> I would say the pyjamas, but also one of Imi's dresses. I've just been reminded oh, of it. Oh, yeah. Um, so it was cute. a green dress and it was also from ASOS. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> um, and yeah, it got some good twirls. Mm. I like a dress that is like really quite loose fitting, mm -hmm. but they're just comfortable. Yeah. Oh, so I've got a, I, that dress that I was wearing the other day. Yeah, that's that yeah. Really yeah. Nice. Yeah. the cottage core kind of. Oh, yeah. lovely. Did you do a full feet yeah. photo shoot in that? Didn't I? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's my new LinkedIn profile picture. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So our next category is C. Um, I love literal, C. not fit. No. <laughs> Literal, not figurative. You got it out. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this kid, we it was yeah. snappy and it got us into it. <laughs> the thing is, I, I I like trying different teas, but I never really remember what it was I had. So I know I've had some teas recently which I really enjoyed, but I didn't quite know what they were. But the only two that did stick in my head was the the peppermint and green tea. Oh, yeah. I bought that. That was yeah. really nice. Nice, yeah, nice. nice addition. Because I've mm. always been a bit like, I wasn't sure about green tea, but I really like that. Mm, yeah, love so, it. Yeah, most, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Lou, fine. I think you really found a gap in our tea, and you filled it. Yeah, you did. I did buy it, but that's okay. okay. <laughs> um, I'm enjoying a normal um English breakfast tea. Mm. I don't really have it that much at home. Um, but mm. I'm filled a flask up to the brim. <laughs> <today>. <laughs> yeah, 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 that was me. Um, <laughs> to the brim, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, was it PG is. Tips? It was PG oh. Tips, yeah. No, you've got to go Yorkshire. No, I don't. No, PG. No, is that that big box? Yeah, yeah. yeah. big box. Yeah. PG. With oat milk and With honey. With oat milk mm. and honey. Yeah. honey. Borrow some honey from my shelf, mix it in. My favourite tea. <laughs> I've got props. <laughs> Spice apple infusion. Hold it up to the camera and put your hand by <laughs> Spice apple infusion from m &S. <laughs> Normally, I would be too broke to buy her M&S, but um, the lovely Amari. She purchased it for my birthday, which Aww. was a dream, and it's now a favourite, so, you know, she knows me well. Very autumnal drink. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. I like an autumnal beverage. Why have we done some Tudor? <laughs> So my favourite tea is actually one that Amari, we didn't talk about this, but we accidentally bought the same tea. Mm. But um, it is so nice. It's peach and orange with citrusy baobab. And... <laughs> I thought it was baobab. Oh, I have some tea. Yeah, it was the bee is silent. 
Oh, all right, I'll bother. <laughs> but this is a really nice tea. If you like peach, um, then you're gonna love it. It's the thing is, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a, a just a summer drink because I've really enjoyed it for Ooh. autumn. I feel like it's one of those ones where like you can have it all year round. But then I can also imagine an iced version of this being really, really nice for summer. Category number four is food slash meal. Um, I made a really good tofu curry the other day and it was really good. My, again, mine's not an actual food or meal, but I did get a slow cooker for my birthday oh. and that has been good. Minimal washing up, six portions, very tasty. Although well, I do think sometimes it's a bit of hit and miss. I did make a really, really bad meal of the day, which Lou did save. <laughs> um, <laughs> was that the slow cooker's fault? Or was that? No, it was probably my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Way too many images. But I made some really great curries and chili from carnies um, and casseroles. So, yeah, that's mine. Lovely. Um, so, I'm really struggling to think about this one. I usually do like quite a lot of nice meals, but recently I've just not been in the mood for cooking. But I feel like I've, recently I've done quite a lot of um, carbonara, mm -hmm. spaghetti carbonara, and I really enjoyed that. And this time I did it, I was a bit bougie, I did it with prosciutto, prosciutto, prosciutto. Yeah, and it was really nice. And I, I'm not really a pasta person at all. I really just don't like pasta. But recently I've had so much because I've just been really craving it. And even tonight I had um, risotto. So I've been having a lot of like pasta, Starchy carb space, but I've been really enjoying it. Um, my favourite is toast and marmite. <laughs> Yay! It's a toast game! So, right, hear me out. I can cook ish, or right ish. Yes, you can. can. Well, I can cook, can. but it gets to 10 pm at night, and all I really want is a piece of marmite on toast. <laughs> And it just, we love routine. In these times, you need routine. <laughs> we love structure. And it provides <laughs> you <laughs> routine. It's like a warm hug. Oh. Oh. All right. Category number five is TV and movies. Sorry, TV and movies. That was really cringe. Can you restart? TV and movies. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the TV and movies. I have many things that I really, really like when I watch. I like watching trash, as I've already said. And um, I just finished Emily in Paris on Netflix and it was just so good. And I literally, maybe that's why I'm enjoying pasta. Because I literally was like, I need to have a glass of red wine and eat some pasta to pretend to be French. Is no, it pasta Italian? But then you do have pasta in France. Yes, yeah, but you have pasta in England. Um, and then I've also just um, been watching The Bachelorette recently, and it's so good. Mm -hmm. You are such a good trash TV. Mm -hmm. Love it. My favourite movie. Okay, well, I, yeah, I've not actually seen it because it came out today from oh. a, with a special announcement. Taylor Swift has just released a movie on Disney Plus. What? Yeah. I think today, and I haven't seen it, but I know when I see it, it will be my favourite movie currently. So that's mm -hmm. mine. Yeah. I have got Disney Plus if you need it. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Make sure you're under the profile Piggy Wiggy Woo, because yeah. the other profile is my parents. <laughs> I've been watching so many things. <laughs> the Queen's Gambit, Netflix. The Interior Design Programme. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, it's so, so good. good. Mm -hmm. That got us too. Selling sunsets. <laughs> Selling sunsets. That's quite old Selling now, sunset. isn't it? Yeah, it's quite old. But mm. but but we've just got on it. Back bandwagon. Yeah, it's got some really good music. <laughs> some good real estate. <laughs> we sing every day. Yeah. So yeah, they're mine. Very lovely. Right, this is an oldie, but a goldie. <laughs> oh, I love. Downton Abbey. Yay! So good. I'm only on season three, so no spoilers in the comments. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, if you're watching this, don't put any more spoilers in the comments. Right, category number six. Six. Right? Is booty. <laughs> What's our favourite booty right now? Wait, beauty. Oh, oh sorry, I've like, forgotten that the Tudor times are here. Yes, <laughs> beauty. A beauty is what I mean. My favourite beauty, beauty product? I don't really know if it's a beauty product. Um, but <laughs> the Lush shampoo bars. Oh, they are hard. <laughs> it's in there. 
but they are so good. I use honey, I wash my hair, which is good for curly haired gals. Oh, yeah. um, all curly haired boys as well. Lasts me ages, about three months. Oh. Smells really good. Mm. Yeah, we'd recommend. Perfect. They are good and they're low in sulfates as well. Yeah. We've talked about low poo before yeah. on the channel. I shouldn't really use sulfate in my hair, but here we are. Um, okay, so my beauty products, I've got my first one is, I've actually had this for a couple of years and it, I know it's still on sale because I saw it before lockdown. And it's the NYX or NYX or NYX, whatever you want to call it, um, Warm Neutrals Palette. So it's a small, I think it's £16 um, <laughs> eyeshadow, just really warm neutrals. If you are someone who is on the go, likes travel products, um, then this is going to be really useful. It's all in plastic, so there's no worry for it breaking, really. It's quite sturdy. And I have literally used it so much recently because I can't really be bothered to do my eyeshadow at the moment. So if I do do eyeshadow, then I literally just put on one colour. And I'm literally wearing one colour today, just all over my lid. And it looks really pretty. And it's also a really nice um, winter palette. Um, so around Christmas time, like the golds and the reds and the deep like browns are gonna look really good for Christmas. Would thoroughly recommend. And it's cheap, it's within budget, which is something we, we all love. And my next product is, because obviously I recently got a fringe, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna need a roller brush because obviously like right now, she's she she's having her moment because I let her air dry, which is not a good thing. But I literally sit here, like that, Ooh. just to you like give it some bounce. I know I need to. Yeah. But this That's is so thing. useful yeah. because when I'm like actually drying my hair, I literally hold it like this and then I literally just dry it and then it can like, it poofs a little bit. And because my hair is like, I love my hair, it's great, but it grows like bamboo. Sorry, I was just thinking whether bamboo grew fast or not. <laughs> it yes, does, it does. And, but it multiplies. <gasps> oh. And you can actually hear it growing if you listen closely enough. Oh, yeah. Wow. Um, my favorite beauty is also hair related. So I stole this off well, borrowed oh. of a housemate. These things, they came out of what, like a hundred years ago, ten years ago? <laughs> I never really liked them at the time and I never got into the thing of it. But they're really good because you tie your hair up and they didn't have the kinks everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I know that everyone That's already so um, knew this, but <laughs> I, I hadn't given it a chance. <laughs> and um yeah, yeah, and I um really enjoyed it. That's mine. Mm. Which um which housemate has these? Kathy. I was thinking, because Jess did a shower thing, um, mine is actually Kathy's as well, and it's Kathy's <laughs> marshmallow shower gel. So nice! It's so, it's so nice. nice and so comforting <laughs> after a hard day. <laughs> she was asking who had stolen that the other day. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, just really nice. And do you still wear shower gel? No, I have my own. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I feel like it's a bit of a free for us. No, <laughs> with the money I saw, it's a free for all. <laughs> but now I don't feel so bad for using someone's cheese. I mean, no, I, no. Feel, I feel oh, really no. guilty for using someone's cheese. Please. And I'm like, I can't believe it, I will pay the back. I will pay <laughs> back 50 p and you lot. Category <laughs> number seven. <laughs> she just joined in. <laughs> favourites has been birthdays. Mm. Oh. They have been fun. We have had, what, what did we do for my, we've had dinner parties and quizzes, outdoor cinemas. Oh. Mm. Yeah, we've had the works. Okay. My highlight has been transforming the living room into different oh, things. Yeah, Each week good. there's like a new display here. <laughs> so there was, there's been the autumn display where we've had loads of leaves hanging where loads of flies appeared in the house. <laughs> yeah. And it got a bit gross. Um, now we've got Christmas. Yeah. We've had like club night, which was pub, all pub, pub night. night. Wagamama. 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 Birthdays. Yeah. It's mm. just it's a canvas. So yeah, it's was, been a canvas. Yeah. <laughs> we go ham. Like, we even get QR codes. Like, we made like a whole bar menu and we got like a QR, QR code for it. Did we use it? No. But 
<laughs> it's the details. It's yes. Yeah. <laughs> My favourite lockdown activity <laughs> probably currently is playing the guitar. Um, I've done it quite a lot. I've been quite stressed recently. I think just because like lockdown and winter is like not the best thing. And then we've got, all got quite a lot of deadlines coming up and I've just been, kind of been a bit plowed under by like so many different things. Um, and so literally just to kind of like calm myself, I've been like playing the guitar. I mean, so I was going to say birthdays and all that activity oh, we've been doing the house. No, it's so far. You're allowed to say them. But <laughs> another one, I've really enjoyed going on walks with people. I don't know, like I know mm. ideally we'd be sitting in coffee shops, but um, I've dragged a lot of friends out in freezing temperatures to make them sit on park benches with me. And Jess doesn't just go for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Jess is gone. <laughs> She's gone for four hours or something. Right, final category is category number eight, and it's just random, so it can be anything at all. We've got quite a few props. Number one is this, which is also Kathy's actually. Um, but it's like a hot water bottle, but it's a neck fillet. And so we we fight over it a bit here. I haven't but, used it yet. Oh, me and Rebs fight oh, over okay. it. Um, but yeah, it just sits here like that. It's very relaxes easy. your shoulders because that's the area that I get really tense in my shoulders. And the other one <laughs> is my candle. There you go. Um, <laughs> but it's dripping over the side, which is what I wanted. Oh, I love and it. I wanted to be like in an old movie when you come out of your room and you've got it lit and you walk <laughs> around <laughs> like, who's up at this hour? <laughs> and she does do that. Yeah. She'll light the candle and she'll be like, who's up? <laughs> Just to get me <laughs> goes there. Yeah. Yeah. She'll creep out of her room. Okay, so okay, so I have two random favourites. The first one is I'd like to introduce you <laughs> to Pete. <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> um, me and Kat lovingly named him. Um, I found him under my bed when we moved here and neglected him for a while. Um, and then one day I got so cold, tried to tell by like Pete's heater, um, plugged him in. And um, yeah, he. Uh, it's very good. He's so quite loud, though. He's, he's, he's so what loud. What does it sound like from your ring, Jess? Sounds like an aeroplane is taking off. <laughs> so, uh, my second favourite is where Amari's sitting right now, and that is oh. the nook. And mm. uh, the nook is where these two sofas, you can just see the, the beginning of the other sofa, meet. So and it creates this little. Well, no, really. Um, you can really like, yeah, you can really curl up there. I have fallen asleep there many times. How long did you spend there? <laughs> <laughs> Was it like six hours? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, literally. Um, but it's so funny. Like, I'll say to Jess, like, oh, Jess, like, do you mind, like, if I sit in the neck? And Jess, like, no, honestly, like, I sat in it this morning. And like, <laughs> 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 like, it's so real. <laughs> It's literally like the favourite spot of the house, though. My, <laughs> my random favourite is my nose piercing. Woo! Yeah. We did a whole piercing video and she went and got another one. Basically, Ooh, the day before lockdown was happening, I was I couldn't concentrate on my work because I really wanted a nose piercing. Um, my favourite, like random, is actually a YouTuber, and she's she's been around for ages. Um, but like I've recently got into her and she's just, every time I watch her I'm like she's so good and it's Barbie and I really <laughs> really like Barbie's vlogs, um, especially with Ken and I was really upset because the other day they did a friendship, like the best friend test and I was really upset because I was like totally rooting for them. I still ship them in my mind but um, hopefully. Hopefully they'll get married someday, or we can see an engagement vlog or something. Um, and that's it for our favourites. Um, I hope you enjoyed. We did eight different categories. Um, it's all very random and very chaotic and weird. But <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that wherever you are, and uh, whatever you're doing right now, I hope that you are staying positive and staying safe following government guidelines. Um, and this is probably going to be up before Christmas, so have a lovely Christmas. Um, whatever the restrictions might be. But yeah, that's it from us and we will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.